Meghan Markle apologized to the Court of Appeal yesterday for failing to remember she told a royal aide to brief the authors of the Finding Freedom biography. The Duchess of Sussex, who previously insisted she and Prince Harry did not cooperate with the two writers of the gushing book, said she had forgotten providing the aid details of what to reveal when you sit down with them. It emerged yesterday she had emailed Jason Knauf, her then communications secretary, a detailed briefing note on December 10, 2018, including some helpful background reminders about her estranged family and her version of events of a tiara incident involving the Queen. Through her lawyers, the Duchess has previously strenuously denied she and Harry fed information to the authors of what the court heard was a relentlessly flattering biography. But she backtracked after an intervention by Mr. Knauf, who made a statement to the court saying, the book was discussed directly with the Duchess multiple times in person and over email. The Duke and Duchess authorized specific cooperation in writing in December 2018. In response, Meghan, in a written statement, told the judges, in the light of the information and documents that Mr. Knauf has provided, I accept that Mr. Knauf did provide some information to the authors for the book and that he did so with my knowledge. The Mail on Sunday, the Daily Mail's sister paper, is seeking to defend itself against Meghan's claims that it unlawfully breached her privacy by publishing extracts of a letter to her father Thomas Markle. It argues she herself had allowed U.S. magazine People and the Finding Freedom authors Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durant to be briefed to produce favorable versions of her life story, which the royal couple denied doing. In September 2020, Meghan's lawyers insisted to the court neither the Duchess nor her husband cooperated with the authors to put out their version of events. And in November that year the Duchess personally approved a statement saying she does not know if and to what extent, the, palace, communications team were involved in providing information for the book. But yesterday, Meghan told the court, when I approved, that, passage, I did not have the benefit of seeing these emails and I apologized to the court for the fact that I had not remembered these exchanges at the time. I had absolutely no wish or intention to mislead the defendant or the court. The Court of Appeal has been given a tranche of emails and text messages between Harry and Meghan and their palace advisers spanning the months from August to December 2018. Mr. Scobie and Mr. Rand had been making approaches to the palace and the couple's friends, seeking their help in writing the biography, and there were several internal discussions about whether to engage with the authors or not. An August 30th email from Meghan to her communications chief, which she copied to Prince Harry, said of Mr. Scobie, I feel he needs to be back briefed ASAP. Emails show Mr. Knauf advised that putting the authors in touch with her friends was not a good idea, telling them on December 10, being able to say hand on heart that we did not facilitate access will be important. Mr. Knauf offered to meet the authors himself. He emailed Prince Harry saying, Morning sir. Please see attached the topic areas Omid and Carolyn want to discuss. Please can you decide if you would like to share these with the Duchess. Let me know what you think. I will see them this week to help them with factual accuracy and context. Harry, in reply, said, I think definitely share this with the Duchess and make the suggestion to her that you have here. She will be 100% supportive and I totally agree that we have to be able to say we didn't have anything to do with it. Meghan Markle admitted that she knew her handwritten letter to her father Thomas Markle could be published, and blamed Buckingham Palace for putting pressure on her to resolve her issues with him.